What's going on, Scorpio? Welcome to your reading for November 2021. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading, Scorpio, we're going to look at your overall general energy for the month of November. We're going to look at some things you do not see coming for the month of November. We're also going to look at some messages and advice from your angels and spirit guides for November 2021. So we are entering into Scorpio season, so it's your time to shine, right? Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading, Scorpio, so take the messages that resonate, leave the ones that don't. <clears throat> also, be sure to check your other signs for a full forecast of your November 2021 energy. And with that being said, definitely smash that like button so that this reading can reach all the Scorpio people that it needs to. It also helps me grow this channel. So without further ado, let's do four major shuffles and really pull the energy for the Scorpio gang watching this reading for November 2021. Let's go. <clears throat> As always, I want to thank the angels, interdimensional beings, and spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination. Messages for the sign of Scorpio for November 2021. Oh, yeah. Messages for the sign of Scorpio for November 2021. Messages for the sign of Scorpio for November 2021. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> Just so you know, we are going to clarify the cards as we move along as well. Pretty intense stuff so far. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, Scorpio. So just so you can get a grip on the reading, this top row here is your overall general energy for November. This middle row is what you do not see coming for November. And then this bottom row is the advice and messages from your spirit guide. So um, it's kind of a kind of a all over the place energy overall energy of the nine of cups to the tower so in some way shape or form Scorpio for November in your own month here um, Scorpio season you're gonna be feeling pretty good like this is tapping into your magic I feel like for a lot of you guys um, I feel like you've manifested a long form desire that you've had so <clears throat> for some of you you've entered into a relationship that is something that you've been trying to manifest for a while others of you for a lot of you out there actually I sense this is career success success in the physical plane right to do with your um, your finances um, all that type of stuff now you you do have a, I, to be honest like what I'm getting right off the bat for you Scorpio because I feel like you accomplished some sort of goal. And now that you accomplished it, it doesn't have the same luster that it once had when you were on the chase towards it. So I feel like there's there's this energy with the tower to the page of pentacles here. Um, where it's like you want to throw away everything you have. And maybe you're not, you know, whether or not you actually do this in November is up to you. Okay, but there's this feeling like you're going to have a sudden realization about your success. You're going to have a sudden realization about your manifestation here, Scorpio. Um, that kind of throws you for a bender, you know, to be honest with you. It seems like, you know, the tower is all about, the tower is kind of like the opposite of this card, right? The nine of cups, synchronicity, magic. The tower is like throwing you out of your magical tower that you've built up. So I feel like you guys are like, whoever I'm reading for here, you're definitely an empowered person, like not afraid to go get what you want. And it's just interesting you have this page of pentacles right after the tower. So you have nine of cups, tower, page of pentacles. To be honest, like, we're going to clarify, but I feel like you guys manifested a goal, whether this be a partner. Somehow you have a realization that maybe this is not really what you want anymore because you got it. It's like you as human beings, we're like we're literally all psychos like we literally want to chase something more than we actually want to possess it. As soon as you possess something that you really want, you instantly want to go on the fool's journey again. OK, you have the fool right underneath this. Interesting. Scorpio, though, um, page of pentacles. I feel like. 
there's going to be an idea. So I don't know whether or not you guys actually leave behind this thing. Intuitively, what I feel is just it's the it's the beginning of the storm. So I don't know if you actually get thrown out of your tower this month, Scorpio, but you have this page of pentacles. For me, this is in your reading. This is coming through as like a hustler energy, like a side hustle. And it's coming right, you know, the tower page of pentacles to the fool. So there's a feeling like... um you want to start something new. It's like you've already been there, done that. You've already done this thing. And it's like a lot of you are realizing like, yeah, I'm going to have a good life if I stay here, but I'm just going to arrive at death safely. So this could have to do with new love as well, by the way, like being in a relationship that you thought was really great, realizing, oh crap, maybe it's not what I actually want. So we're going to clarify in a second. Now, what you don't see coming, Scorpio, you have the fool, you have the sun, and you have the king of swords. So what I'm starting to realize is like you, you definitely want to move away from anything you've manifested here. So the big thing, like the big goal, the big relationship that now you have, like you have something that you always wanted, right? So I always say to people, um, always look at what you used to pray for and that you now have. There's something there, that, but it's like it's not satisfying you anymore. It's like this feeling of what you don't see coming is like, look at, look how the fool is literally in this reading, like, like staring up there like, oh, that's great. But you know, and then you have the sun right beneath the tower card here. Um, so this is you realizing like the sun is being cast on your tower. So like, although it's sunny in this reality with this nine of cups, you're having a deep realization, Scorpio, of like, there's better for me. If I stay here, the universe is just going to kick me out. Um, and then you have the, the King of Swords right underneath this page of pentacles. Um, intuitively, what I feel for a lot of you guys is there's someone who's not going to be so happy about this tower. There's someone who wants to keep you in a relationship. This may be the person that you're in a relationship with. This may be your boss at work who's like, of course you're going to stay there. What are you kidding me? What are you, a fool, Scorpio? What do you think you're doing here? Um, and this page of pentacles is kind of like an adversary. It's like, it's like these are adverse. These are opposite ends of the spectrum for me. Okay, for some of you it might not be right. For some of you, it's going to be doubling down on this hustler energy, realizing, you know, actually for a lot of you, yeah, it's like you're going to start to realize embodying this energy yourself. Like I can, I can make this shift. I can, I can go on the fool's journey. I can man if I work hard, right, with the eight of pentacles. I feel like I'm talking to a lot of hard workers. You're like, yeah, I, I can do it again. I can manifest this again, but I want to do it from a new perspective, a, a different thing, a different person, a different career right? This, this King of Swords is saying, I'm going to embody that energy. I'm going to freaking do it. For some of you though out there, I'm, I'm definitely reading there's someone in your life the King of Swords is representing, potentially overbearing masculine figure, boss, father figure, who does not want to see this happen. They're like, listen, listen, Scorpio, the sun is out. What are you talking about? I would never leave this reality because I know what I want. But then they're dying on the inside. And you're like, yo, I don't want to deal with that. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> so let's move on to the message from your spirit guides um we have the eight of pentacles the king of the uh, eight of pentacles knight of wands seven of swords so there's something about hard work here i feel like your spirit guides are saying first of all before you make this drum scorpio well congratulations for manifesting something all right you've already manifested something here um, and your spirit guides, the message from your spirit guides is saying it's, a, it's kind of a really cool transition. They're saying like you've already manifested. If you go on the fool's journey again, as long as you put your head down and you work hard, you're going to be able to manifest a new reality that's actually better than the one you're already in. Okay, and then you have the Knight of Wands as the message from your spirit guides. So this has to do with travel. This is saying like your spirit guides are literally saying to you, don't stay in somewhere you don't want to be. The, the Knight of Wands is just like, hey, I want to go on a flight to Las Vegas. Let's go. Let's go in the fool. Let's make it happen. Travel, expansion, movement, uh, positive emotion, not really giving a crap about what the King of Swords, like the, the Knight of Wands is like, oh, King of Swords, you think you're better than me? Fuck you, right? Excuse my French. Um, at least for this reading is what I'm coming through as. But no, for some of you, this is this is an extension of the King of Swords if it's your own energy. And then you have the Seven of Swords here. So there's some sort of thing about your spirit guides saying, I feel like there's going to be, for some of you, this is trickery with the King of Swords telling you, no, you must stay in this relationship that I hand selected for you, or I'm your boss, you must stay here. And so it's interesting that the Seven of Swords would be right below this King of Swords. So your spirit guides are alerting you to the fact that someone here is a little bit, they're playing some games with you, Scorpio. They're playing some games with you. For others of you though, in order to embody this King of Swords energy to leave the situation behind be a hustler you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be a mover and shaker right you may not have there's nothing really besides the king of swords here 
There's nothing about, and, and the Eight of Pentacles, there's nothing about like a traditional path. The Tower, the Fool, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, that's all like, yo, like, you can't tell me how to do this, I gotta do it myself. Alright, so I feel like we honestly don't even need to clarify this for this reading, but we're gonna, because there's always infinite depth to any situation, and I'm not gonna be like a stupid King of Swords who just says, I know what's going on for you, Scorpio. I don't, but I do. And that's what the universe is. We're in polarity, okay, folks? So I feel like what we got to clarify, obviously, is the tower, right? So let's see. Why is this tower here for Scorpio people in November 2021? Why is the tower card here for Scorpio people in November... 2021. Why is the tower card here? Why? Why is the tower card here for Scorpio people in November 2021? Okay, we have the transformation card and the participation card. So there's certainly something, the real card that popped out is the participation card. Uh, it's interesting, this is like the Four of Wands, but there's some place that you want, you're, you're in a certain situation, once again, it's all right, right? It's like you've already manifest, you've already taken the excitement out of it though. You wanna participate in life, you want new, okay? You want, so the tower is coming because you're, you, you realize life has much more to offer than what you think like this happiness is like with what you already have you're not satisfied with what you already have then you have the transformation card so it is an indication that like whatever this situation is that you thought was going to bring you happiness and certainly i actually think it's a crucial part of your journey that you did manifest it because now you can you can have knowledge about oh i can do it again right once you manifest one thing it's super easy to manifest more uh so that's what i see going on there so it's it's done it's dead in the water are you gonna admit it or are you gonna have are you gonna wait for this tower moment guys it's up to you it's up to you um scorpio and some of you are suppressing by the way like how you really feel about this but i don't know let's let's clarify this fool card we're gonna clarify like the major arcanas here why is this fool card here for scorpio for november 2021 <clears throat> Let's see, why is the Fool card here for Scorpio? For November 2021. Why is the Fool card here for Scorpio? For November 2021. Jumper, receptivity. Receptivity. Um... You also have the postponement card, yeah. <laughs> so there's a certain thing that you're that you're super open to. What you didn't see coming, by the way, this is what you don't see coming. You're going to be open to the download, and it's interesting. Like, look at how this person is receiving the Nine of Cups energy. You're going to be receptive to the fact that this is not what I want anymore. Literally, it's it's so interesting. Look at this reading. The fool is literally staring up at this Nine of Cups, and then you also have this receptivity card that's literally reaching up to the Nine of Cups. So there's something certainly here for you, Scorpio, about harnessing the magic of your life utilizing your resources utilizing your manifestation ability that you now you, you know that you have to tap into and then transforming that into your fool's journey that you're going to be going on so but then you have the postponement card so there's going to be a temptation for you to just stay in this tower believe the king of swords right no i'm just kidding no i'm not i'm schizophrenic no i'm not i'm bipolar it's awesome I hate being bipolar. It's awesome. I'm kidding, guys. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, you know what, Scorpio? I feel like, honestly, like, for some reason, I'm just feeling like I, Spirit is guiding me to end this reading. You know what you have, it, what it takes to get beyond the situation. You just got to do it. You just got to see through the deception of this King of Swords or even tap into that energy yourself. Be a hustler. Get what you want. I really appreciate this reading, Scorpio. I hope you did as well, and I hope you have a great November. It is Scorpio season. Peace.